Missy Higgins or Melissa Higgins, her proper name. She's a Melbourne girl and she's got um, older siblings. And uh, she learned to play the piano when she was young. Uh, apparently following in the footsteps of her father and brother, I think, or something. And um, But she found singing soon enough. And she released an album called uh, Sound of White and then On a Clear Night and then The Old Razzle Dazzle. Now, after The Old Razzle Dazzle, I think she released a covers album and then of Australian Songs or something and then Solastalgia, various studios albums. And um, I think she had a greatest hits. Um... She's a Melbourne girl. She's uh, she's now married, I, I think, to a fellow called Dan or something, Dan Lee or something like that, whatever it is, and as a kid. But uh, she once, not too far back, described herself as not so straight, and there was speculation that she was gay. And apparently she classified herself as bisexual for a while, but um, she married a bloke, so she's well. She obviously doesn't mind the male sex because she's had a kid to one. But this is her album. The um, She's an Australian artist from Melbourne. Missy Higgins, The Old Razzle Dazzle, this is her third album. This is my favourite. Um, the songs, though, this is an album review of Missy Higgins, The Old Razzle Dazzle. Now, the songs, that there's 12 tracks, Set Me On Fire, Hello, Hello, Unashamed Desire, Everyone's Waiting, All On My Head, Temporary Love, Watering Hole, Tricks, If I'm Honest, Cooling of the Embers, Hidden Ones, Sweet Arms of a Tune. Okay. Now, for starters, she's one of um, Australia's best singer-songwriters. Critically, I suppose, for want of a better word. Now, um, I have that opinion. Society has its opinion and usually agrees with that idea. Uh, but I would imagine it would. I don't really know for sure. But um, she's grown up. She's not releasing baby pop. It's... Uh, Piano sort of guitar sort of stuff is standard sort of music for uh, regular artists in music, and it's it's in it's intelligent and uh, mature. My favourite song on the album is "Calling of the Embers," which um, uh, talks about how a relationship, well, not a relationship, but how a life sort of um goes for its fire but cools down, and um, as you imagine, "Calling of the Embers," and uh, you're it's like you were a child once more as a lyric from the line. So it's sort of like not exactly the fire of, uh, of passion it once was in that life, but it's a beautiful song and it's mellow sort of ball balladic sort of stuff. Uh, Missy Higgins stuff. It's, she's a sedate sort of personality. Um, she's not exactly the uh, in your face rock star or pop diva who's sort of flashing her tits and going for the glory like that, if you know what I mean. She's a more sedate sort of personality than that. I think that word probably describes Miss Higgins quite well today. But she can get passionate. But uh, she, I, I feel she's a conservative sort of soul, despite her uh, sexual uh, potential sexual desires. She is a conservative sort of person. And, I mean, in reality, gay people can be as conservative as the rest of us, as the rest of us conservative sort of people. I'm, I'm not stupid. I am aware of that. So, um... She's a conservative sort of soul and uh, very uh, very endearing to the heart. She writes to the heart. and It's not throwaway cheap pop lines just for a, a commercial success at the top of the charts with pop lines, which don't always mean terribly much. She's a very deep singer-songwriter and writes uh, full, full lyrics, which mean something. And uh, usually fresh, her stuff, and um, it's just well done. It's a well-done album. This is one of my favourite albums, actually, when it comes right down to it. Um, Miss Higgins, The Old Razzle Dazzle. Um, one of my favourite albums. I play this a fair bit. I've owned a lot of CDs over the years, and I don't always play them a huge amount. This one is one of the albums I actually come back to a fair bit. Like, uh, quite a few albums. Jules This Way I play a fair bit. And there's always a Bon Jovi and a Taylor Swift album on the go. But Miss Higgins, The Old Razzle Dazzle, I return to a fair bit because it's... Uh, it's got a lot of last ability about the quality of the album because it's it's just so well done. It's a fine quality album, Miss Higgins. Now, her other albums are probably equally as good. I haven't listened to them quite as much, but this one I found very appealing. It's a bit moody. It's a bit, what do you expect, expect from a sort of, well, I don't know if I should say what to expect, but uh, it's a bit moody. It's a bit I suppose, somber, I suppose. Somber is probably the word for it. 
So it's a bit moody and it's a bit somber and sedate. And it's um, not really dark, but she's uh, thoughtful and deep and probably philosophical somewhat. And to me, Missy Higgins is a real sort of person. It's a good album. Nine out of ten.